Okay, so what is this thing right here? Now, uh, most of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I obviously know what this is. But uh, go ahead and consider your choices here because this is a multiple choice question and make sure you study this figure pretty well. All right, so A, this could be a quadrilateral. Uh, B, this might be a right triangle. C, it could be an acute triangle. Or D, maybe this is not even a triangle. All right, so if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. And even if you don't know the answer, just go ahead and take a guess. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain why the answer is indeed the answer. A lot of you are going to be shocked when you see the correct uh, solution here in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so we have this thing right here. This side is 4, this side is 6, this side is 11. So which one of these here uh, best describes this figure? All right, so let's go and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is D. Uh, this is not a triangle, okay? It's not a quadrilateral, and it's definitely not a triangle, so it's just uh, it's just something, okay? But uh, this is the correct answer given our choices. All right, now some of you are like in complete disagreement. You're like, Mr. U2 Math Man, uh, you know, you're wrong. I know the answer. Uh, this is definitely a triangle. Uh, matter of fact, it's probably a right triangle. No, 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 you got to... Got to slow down here. Let me uh, explain my solution or my reasoning. And uh, don't let this figure deceive you. Okay, I will give you a full explanation. But if you got this right, well, you definitely deserve a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because clearly you understand something called the triangle inequality theorem. Okay, triangle inequality theorem. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to go ahead and explain that right now. Okay, so again, uh, this is a multiple choice question. We don't have like E here, polygon or some other choice. You have to uh, you know, make your best selection for the answers available. Now let's just go ahead and uh, dispel with quadrilateral right now. This can never or cannot be a quadrilateral because a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. So we need four sides to have a quadrilateral. So things like squares, rectangles, these things are quadrilateral, so this only has three sides, so not a quadrilateral. Now, clearly, this appears to be some sort of triangle. Now, obviously, so I'll give you that, but here is the thing. Uh, uh, figures, okay, in uh, geometry exams or uh, different type of test situations can be deceiving, all right, because uh, the figure here has information, all right? We have to consider this information. And the reason why this isn't a triangle, okay? This appears to be a straight line, but maybe this is bending a little bit, okay? Maybe these are not quite uh, straight lines and we just microscopically can't really see it. So there's nothing here, uh, you know, beyond this that says, oh, this absolutely has to be a triangle. Now, it, it is or does appear to be a three-sided triangle. Uh, polygon. Okay, now I give that to you, but a polygon, uh, when we're talking about regular polygons, have straight lines. Okay, now maybe I could have been a little bit more generous with uh, the figure here and maybe kind of uh, kind of did a little bit of like this, but uh, even so, if you understand this triangle inequality theorem, it's impossible to have a triangle with these sides. Okay, I'm going to explain this right now. Okay, so again, cannot have a triangle with 4, 6, and 11. All right, so let's go and take a look at an actual triangle to explain this, and then we'll uh, dispel that our figure is indeed not a triangle. All right, now this is a right triangle. Okay, it's a triangle, and these sides are actual sides of a triangle, but in, uh, this particular triangle happens to also be a right triangle. In other words, this is a 90-degree angle. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain this triangle inequality theorem. This is a very important property of um, triangles, and it's one that is really not too well known. So let me go ahead and explain this to you right now. All right, so 
let's suppose I give you three, like, let's say perfectly straight, like little sticks or something like that. So one stick here is five, one is four, and another stick is three. And I say, hey, go ahead and build a triangle. Can you build a triangle from these uh, three sticks? Now, hopefully you can, right? Uh, so you might say, well, here is uh, my triangle, one side, maybe this is the five and here, well, this would be the five, it's the longest. And then I have my four, three, and five, something like that. But uh, what if we had a scenario like this, five, four, and maybe like just one, okay? Now, could we build a triangle from these measures? Well, that might be kind of difficult. So you could put your five right here, and then we're trying to close this as a triangle. So maybe I can kind of do my little, put my four right there. But then if I put my one right here, I still have some sticking out, okay? In other words, I can't close this up. Or maybe I have this five like this, and then the four like so, and then my one is just, it's not enough to kind of meet the gap. So you just can't have... Uh, you know, any three line segments and connect them to make a triangle, okay? It all depends, all right? So uh, this is a very common type of question, by the way, this uh, little, you know, challenge that I'm giving you. So let me explain the conditions where we know that, in fact, we are dealing with an actual triangle. All right, so the, the, again, this is called the triangle uh, inequality uh, theorem, okay? And don't uh, feel bad if you never heard of it. It's typically taught in, like, most full geometry courses. All right, so here we go. So it basically states uh, the following. So any two sides of a triangle is always going to be a greater, okay, if you add this, the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so 5 plus 4, okay, we're going to add up these two sides right here. Well, that is clearly greater than this other side, 3. Okay, so 5 plus 4 is 9. That's greater in value than 3. All right, so let's go this way right here. How about 4 and 3? All right, so 4 plus uh, 3, is that greater than uh, 5? Okay, our other side. Indeed it is, right, because 7 is greater than 5. And so we just have one more situation to check. That would be 5 and 3. So let's go and do that right now. So 5 plus uh, 3, is that greater than the other side, which is 4? Uh, indeed, it is. 8 is greater than 4. So all three of these situations check out. This is the triangle inequality. Okay, This is how you know that, in fact, you can close a triangle. Now, in this particular case, uh, this happens to be a right triangle as well. So we can kind of do some bonus stuff here for those of you that selected right triangle. You could have checked uh, uh, the lengths here using the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now, these are just these are the lengths of a triangle. C is always the length of the longest side of a right triangle. This is called the hypotenuse, and you can kind of identify it. It's the longest, but it's always opposite the 90-degree angle. Okay, so if I was asking you, hey, is this a right triangle? We don't know if it is, but if it is a right triangle, uh, the Pythagorean theorem would hold true. Okay, so what we want to do is square, um, add the sum of the squares here, and see if it's equal to this. So let's go ahead and just, we'll call this A, we'll call this B. So this would be 4 squared plus 3 squared. Is this equal to 5 squared? Well, we have 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 9. Is that equal to 5 squared, which is 25? Well, indeed it is. 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 is equal to 25. This checks out. So not only is this, is a, is this a triangle, it's also a right triangle, okay, a special triangle where one of the angles is 90 degrees. All right, so again, you could have gone back over here and said, oh, I think it's a right triangle. Well, you could check with uh, Pythagorean theorem, a squared uh, plus b squared is equal to c squared. You'll see that this does not work out, okay? Now, an acute triangle just means that all the angles are less than uh, 90 degrees, okay? So that's basically or uh, yes, yep, yeah, that's what it means. Uh, all the angles are less than 90 degrees, something like a 60-60-60 uh, triangle, okay, which is an equilateral triangle, right? Not a right triangle because uh, that has its own name. That's where one of the angles is 90 degrees. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this um, triangle inequality to work to dispel that what we're looking at is not actually a triangle. But before we do that, I need you to do, do this, and that is to hit that subscribe button. 
Now, I'm not afraid to ask for help, all right? I'm like, yes, I need your help, okay? Uh, I think as you get older, well, at least for me, you know, I don't particularly like to ask for help for things that I can do on my own, all right? I don't want anyone to do anything that I could do for myself. But when it comes to learning things or something that I can't do, even if I'm trying, then, hey, I'm going to go try to find someone who knows what they're doing. I'm like, hey, can you help me out? And you should have the same attitude towards learning math or anything okay, that you want to improve. There's tons of people out there, mentors, teachers, experts that you can, you know, um, gain access to to help you along. It's just going to make the process a lot faster. So if you're struggling with math, make sure you ask for help. If you are a math student, always start with your teacher. But if you need help beyond that, then check out my full main math courses uh, if you're interested. I'll leave links to those in the description of this video. And uh, what we're talking about here is uh, something that you can be found in my full geometry course. And uh, some of you might be at a higher level of math like pre-calculus. I'll leave that those uh, links uh, in the description. But if you're not even a math student, you're like, you know, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you should have saw me way back in 1977. I was amazing at this stuff. Well, you might be interested in my math skills rebuilder course, right? So I'm just going to rebuild your math skills to what they were way back 40 years ago. So uh, we're talking about basic math, algebra, geometry, uh, even some trigonometry and probability and statistics. Okay, so uh, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up because this is not going to be that difficult. So here is our figure. And I know a lot of you are saying, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this was so mean. This is obviously a triangle because it, it well, yes, you got to be very careful on uh, exams like the SAT, ACT, um, you know, uh, various certification exams. They put in these kind of trick questions. And the values here, okay, are there and kind of to test, hey, can you do or do you know the triangle inequality? Okay, because clearly this is like a big clue. You need to do something with these numbers to verify that, well, hey, what kind of triangle do we have here? Uh, so it's not a right triangle. And it looks to be a right triangle, so that might be kind of confusing. So the only thing we can do is to just, you know, kind of see, hey, is this even a triangle? Because that is an option on our multiple choice uh, question, right? Not no triangle. So it'd be like, eh, maybe this thing isn't a triangle. Uh, so we can check it this way. All right, so let's go ahead and start. So we'll add up these sides, so 11 and 4. Okay, if we add these two sides, is this greater than uh, the last side or the, uh, the other side? Yes, right? 11 plus 4 is greater than 6. Pretty easy. All right, how about 11 and 6? All right, is uh, that greater than 4? Well, 11, 11 plus 6 is easily greater than 4. Not a problem there, but look right here. We have a problem. 6 and 4, uh, so our 4 and 6, is that greater than 11? No, it's not. 10 is not greater than than 11. So you cannot have a triangle with these lengths. Again, you would have some sort of weird situation like this. Okay. And, uh, you know, again, uh, I, this uh, problem wasn't designed to frustrate anyone, but it is kind of designed to warn some of you out there that still have to take exams, maybe like college entrance exams, certification exams. You have to be very careful, especially with the geometry problems. They make things, or not all the time, but it's not uncommon to have uh, problems, okay, where let's suppose you have two lines. These lines look parallel, okay? It looks like we have a transversal going through two parallel lines. Let's call this line L and call this line M. It's like, well, this has got to be parallel because they look parallel. It's got to be it's got to be parallel, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, no, we can't make these assumptions. This thing right here could maybe be going off like that or like this. So you can't assume anything in math unless the notation uh, states it or the problem states it, you know, um, explicitly, okay? So just like this particular problem, you're like, oh, this has got to be a triangle. Well, maybe this is bent a little bit. Who knows, right? So just be careful, and hopefully at the end of the day, you were entertained with this little question. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.